first of all in this module we will define social media and new media media that uses new technologies for communication with masses with wider audience we call it new media because of the use of new technologies and internet uses are part of this and media that is used for social networking as people make their groups and uh, they use them for sharing their views and their problems and uh, everything professional personal the purpose is social networking so this media is called social media and uh, main uh, uh, products uh, which are related with it are facebook and twitter and other social media like this if we talk about youtube that is global uh, kind of source it falls in both we can call it new media being part of internet resources and because of video sharing through youtube where people share their views with each other so we can also call it social media so it falls in both now having defined these terms we talk about gender with reference to these media youtube is used for video sharing with audience beyond local circles this is a global forum as i said earlier it is used for sharing and getting feedback and evaluations judgments opinions by the audience so this is a kind of participatory forum where everyone can participate these videos are prepared by mobile cameras or smartphones by lay persons and slap both professional people can also do this and uh, any person any lay person can also do this what are their topics topics are taken from everyday life such as car driving talking with one's mother arguing with some person about some social issue on politics and uh, a very favorite thing how to's how to write an essay uh, how to speak english fluently how to's uh, they are very favorite uh, part of video sharing the performances can be mono or dialogic in these videos the people who perform they can uh, be the only speakers or there can be an other participant with whom they speak so it can be in form of dialogue or in form of a mono uh, monologue acha but not in the sense of uh, pure sense of monologue that is used in literature sometimes sounds music and subtitles are also added with these movies uh to attract audience whose language may be different from language of the video so to attract mixed audiences different languages can be used and that's why subtitles are used video videos are read it videos they are humorous and serve as entertainment the entertainment element is very much present there and uh, there is critical commentary so two main uh, features of videos are number 1 they are source of entertainment and number 2 they are source of critical comments on different social problems and social attitudes and behaviors etc
the main genres which are used in these videos are narratives, stories, and parodies and lectures. What is a parody? Parody is a mocking imitation. It is a humorous imitation, copy of some person's style of talking, some person's style of walking, some person's uh, style of writing that is copied. So, it is any kind of copying, imitation, and a humorous style. And definitely, uh, because the style of the performer and style of the original person uh, is different. So, this difference creates a humor. So, but the purpose is to criticize something humorously. Parody is intersectional. Intersectional, this term has been used in our course many times. Uh, I again uh, repeat here. When we say it is intersectional, it means it combines age, gender, color, ethnicity, and nationality. Video sharers can be of any age, of any gender, of any nationality. So, all these social categories are combined in these videos. So, that is why we say that they are intersectional. Creators use videos to present social issues about gender. gender. This is one of so many uh, diverse topics which are shared through these videos. And uh, now, uh, the views which are uh, shared through these videos about gender, they can be stereotyped or they can be against these stereotyped views. They can be a mockery of uh, those stereotypes. Some video, some video sharing sites uh, which uh, you uh, may be familiar with are uh, most famous is YouTube and then Vimeo and uh, in uh, then uh, you have daily motion, TikTok, this is very uh, common and Facebook watch. Uh, this is part of Facebook where videos are shared and Instagram and there are so many others. So, you have a task on this topic, search gender issues in Pakistan on YouTube. In search write this topic. What is the most important issue discussed by the video sharers these days? This is the question that you would answer. Now we conclude that video sharing sites are very accessible, accessible to wide audience. They are creative and because there is parody and parody is a creative art. So, they are creative and participatory. People share their views, they give feedback, they praise some something or they may criticize something, they may oppose something, they may disagree. For debates on gender issues, this, uh, this function, the uh, video site functions as a platform. We can reach diverse opinions on these issues from all types of people, especially the young. So, this is not possible in video sharing through new media or social media that only one-sided biased view of any gender is presented and promoted in a, in a society like Pakistan. So, this is a plus point of this, uh, uh, these types of media.